Welcome to another EUP1501 portfolio tutorial session. In this tutorial session, I'll take you through section B of the portfolio. Okay, so if you'd like to contact us, you can use the number that's provided on the screen. Uh, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get all the latest videos the moment that we post them. Okay, so uh, what is uh, section B all about? Okay, the big term in that section is your unmanned aerial vehicle. So basically, a drone is an unmanned aerial vehicle. So what are the typical examples of drones? Okay, so here I've included about three types of drones, like three drones basically. So this one, the one that I'm showing has actually a container. Uh, in that container, you can you can put water, you can use uh, pesticides or any other chemicals to apply on your field. So this one is a bit more expensive than this one. So this one is often used for aerial imagery. So let's say you wanna you wanna record the images of a particular area, you can use one, and the quality of the pictures is often the best and this is used for me like you can use this in many applications uh, in one area where I came across the use of drones was actually in mining so instead of relying on images from Google Google Pro or Google Maps you can actually uh, send a drone specialist there to actually capture the images and then you can replace that in your whatever document that you're presenting okay so yeah, basically that is uh, what a drone looks like. Okay, so here are the portfolio questions. So before we discuss the rest, we need to like understand what the lecturer wants from us, okay? I'm gonna read through the scenario that we've been given on the actual portfolio. And then I'm also gonna read through the questions then I will show you or I'll give you a typical example of how to go about this question. Okay, so let me read this first. Okay, they say uh, in lesson three, you have come to understand and appreciate the increasing use of drones in society. You have also understood the different sectors such as medicine and agriculture that can benefit from the use of drones. A non-profit organization, NPO, in Southern Africa is keen on exploring the use of ICT to support development in the villages. They have been informed by different individuals that drone school offer them the necessary solutions to meet this need. The NPO is unsure as to where to start and how to go about using, drone, using these drones. Help the NPO by searching the internet and find a solution. So, uh, the big things to take from these instructions is that you need to be able to first uh, identify like, okay, the different sectors where drones are actually applicable. But in this context, remember, you wanna, you wanna support development in villages. So it will be much easier to look at the needs of villages and then consider where drones can actually be used to help the villagers okay so let us proceed to uh, to read the questions okay so uh, uh this is the, the these are the questions for uh your portfolio so they say in in not more than five pages submit a report that includes the following key we can't go beyond five pages we can we can do less than five pages, but I wouldn't advise you to, to do le way less. Make sure that you aim for five pages, right? So they say identify the sector and explain how the drone is used in that particular sector. Okay. I have actually highlighted that uh, question because the main focus of this video is only that question. So to see the videos for the rest of the questions, you have to search for the videos in our playlist then 
uh, portfolio playlist go to our youtube channel go to playlist and then you'll find the portfolio playlist that's where you're gonna find all the videos okay so number two they say you need to insert the relevant pictures of the selected drone okay number three you need to describe the type of drone that is selected uh, you need to talk uh, to the issue of hardware and software eg speed camera quality smart modes uh, flight time range difficulty playfulness okay you're gonna go through all, all that okay then you have to briefly discuss why you have suggested this drone to the npo okay that is uh, okay then in your in your view what is the future of drone technology in society okay so the last one says reference the sites you have used apply the apa style okay so that this is very important especially number six so what number six tells us is that you need to we need to be good when it comes to in-text referencing we need to be good when it comes to all uh, the list of references so but they've actually provide you a guideline the apa style will actually guide you there are so many websites out there which show you how to reference uh, in the AP using the APA style. Okay, let's focus on the main uh, agenda for this video. Okay, so this is our main focus. We need to identify the sector and explain how the drone is used in that particular sector. And then this is the most important thing. It has to be one page. Okay, one page, not half a page not uh, a quarter of a page just aim for one page okay so they say so i'm just gonna break down the the question and the first part is identify the sector you need to identify the sector that you're gonna focus on okay and then after identifying the sector you need to explain how the drone is used in that particular sector for example you can choose to focus on agriculture okay so you, you, you're going to look at drones in agriculture, how are drones used in agriculture, okay? What can the, the NPO do in that, in, in that sector, okay? Look at villages, what do villages need, okay, in the agricultural sector? Yeah, this is a typical example. It doesn't have, you don't have to write about uh, agriculture. You can use any other sector. But for, my, for this lessons i'll only be focusing on agriculture i'm going to use agriculture as an example okay so explain how drone how how drones okay how how the drone is used in that particular sector so an example will be like uh, drones can be used for remote agricultural sensing which is a way of conducting plant health assessments okay drones can also be used for crop monitoring and pesticide spray, uh, uh, spraying or application. So, okay, from the data that you can extract, that you can get from your drone, okay, the da uh, from the data provided by drones, farmers can then take, take the necessary steps. They can find out which areas need to be irrigated and then uh, irrigate those areas. They can identify areas where plants are dying and they, they could probably identify the root cause, okay? So, Drones can also be used to irrigate crops. As you have seen in one of the opening slides, one of the drone had a, a, a container. You can use that container, uh, add some water on it, and then inside it, and then, yeah, use that and spray it. Okay? So, yeah, that, that can happen. So, okay, let's move on now to a typical example. So, how are you supposed to write it then? Because it's one thing knowing what to write, then how are you supposed to structure uh, your, your portfolio? So for this particular question, I'd advise you to use uh, the ESA format, ESA format, okay? Make sure that uh, wherever you, you use information from sources, you reference it. So, if you look at this one, I've actually highlighted this in yellow. Uh, this in yellow, it's actually in-text referencing. So, you'll use in-text referencing and then also include those reference material in the uh, reference list. Okay? 
So here is a typical example. I'm just going to read this. this um, okay. So according to Nikov 2021, most villages are dependent on, farm, on farming. And in many of the villages, the farmers are battling with pests that can easily be killed by the application of pesticides. Niel 2020 suggested that the DJI 4XD drone was capable of spraying pesticides in large areas of land. Therefore, I will suggest that the NPO, the NPO get involved in the agricultural sector and use the DJI drone to help farmers in villages improve yields and productivity by eradicating pests through the application of pesticides using a drone. So from that paragraph, I've actually answered a number of questions that we asked. So remember, this is what we're trying to, to answer. Okay, identify the sector. We've identified the sector in that in that small chapter, in that small, uh, okay, let's call it paragraph. Okay, then we need also after identifying that. Okay, so the way I have actually done this is to give reasons why we've actually chosen the agricultural sector. So I'm using the reference material to actually support why I think the agricultural sector is where the NPO should focus. So you're telling them that, okay, Nico says that, okay, uh, most villages depend on farming. Okay, that's one, one of the reasons. And then you also suggest that, okay, Neil, uh, it suggested that okay there is actually a drone that can be used in that space to to actually help with the problem okay so that's how you need to structure your information make sure that you give reasons as to why you chose whatever you, that you you choose okay and having like literature support that makes your argument even stronger okay but remember we haven't answered the question as to how let me go back and show you no 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 Let's go back. So we haven't answered the question in like uh, we haven't answered the second part of this instruction or question. Explain how the drone is used in that particular set. Okay, I've given you an example on this slide, but here you still have to. You're not gonna write it in point form. No, if it's easy, it's an easy structured uh, portfolio. Make sure that even when you include that information here, it's easy type, right? Make sure it's in paragraphs. It's inside you, you're including it as part of paragraph. And you have to give references wherever you, you, you've you used like uh, other people's idea. Okay, let's continue with the second paragraph, which is basically a, not even a complete paragraph. So the drone can be used to capture data of the agricultural land. And the data can be analyzed and solutions will then be derived after careful analysis. The drone uh, thermal and multispectral camera, oh, so uh, actually I was supposed to say the drone use thermal, okay? So the use is not there. You'll have to include it yourself. I can, I can remake this video, okay? So the drone use thermal and multispectral cameras to record reflectancy of canopy. Okay, so that is how the drone is actually able to help. It uses what? Thermal and multispectral cameras to record reflectancy of Kino. So this is basically an example of how to actually include that information, right? I'm just giving you an example. So this is you answering how the drone is used in that particular sector. Okay, in this case, it uses thermal and multispectral Spectral, uh, spect multi-spectral cameras to record reflectancy of canopy. So then what information do you get from that? Then you can continue, elaborate, elaborate, and make sure that you reference your sources. So that's basically how to write it. So make sure, okay, in a typical one pager, you probably have about five paragraphs, okay? So the first part can be like this small, but you need to elaborate on the second part. You need to give more meat as to how drones are used in this one, uh, in this sector. This is from paragraph two to the last paragraph. Okay. So, 
Okay. Oh, insert the relevant. So the next video will be on number two. Insert the relevant pictures of the selected probe. Okay. Thank you for your time.